All right, hello, it's Jeff from RV Diagnostics. I'm uh, laying down on a job again. I'm up under a uh, Caterpillar engine 3126B, C7, pretty close. The complaint was engine oil leak when it was running. Man, well, a couple places it could be, but this is a simple one. Here we go. Uh, right there. So there's two oil pressure sensors. The difference between a sensor and a switch is, right there's the switch, that one. Right above my finger, all right, is the switch only comes on once the PSI goes below a certain PSI. Each one's a little different, all right. Now they all have one wire, so this is a ground switch, it's a, a pull down switch. Now, this is a sensor, it varies the resistance with the oil pressure. So, when it's cold, the oil pressure is a little higher, but there's two of them, right? You see it right there. Well, one is for right here. It's outside panel, right? Yeah, we're upside down. Don't know that bother you that much. But there's a gauge in there, right? So beavers and safaris and some other ones have, you can start the engine from back here, all right? So there's two of them. And the gauge up front is 100 PSI. So there's a part number right there. And I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put you on pause real quick. Here we are, I'm gonna magnify it. Get up in there and try to get the part number. Hold on. There you go, US patent. Four zero seven nine three five one. Well, that's not the part number. I'll just look it up the old fashioned way. I don't see nothing up in there. I'm using the video camera to try to find a part number. All right, so it's a 0 to 100 PSI gauge, plus that's a low-pressure switch. I'll figure out which one that is by looking it up. But it's basically kind of like what I did on the air pressure center sending unit warning for your tanks. Here, let me reduce that. Sorry about that. All right, it's one, uh, one. There you go, right quick. So, relatively easy to get to. We'll clean this mess up and get that parts ordered. Just a quick little video, it's on the passenger side of the engine because it's a diesel pusher, the engine's in the back opposite. This was in a bus or something of that nature, a rear wheel drive, even though this is still a rear wheel drive, but it's a diesel pusher, engine in the rear, it's backwards. If the engine was in the front up by the driver, it would be the driver's side. So remember, you always want to, hold on, sneeze. You always want to say drivers or passenger, front or rear. Don't say left or right, folks, because uh, it depends where you're sitting and standing, right? Thank you very much, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. What's the motto? Test not gets. What we go over, a leaky oil pressure sending unit and a warning switch. We're going to replace both sending units. Because it is a, uh, I think it's a 96 or something, 97, a Safari, um, Sahara, uh, no, no slides. Um, but it is a 3126B Caterpillar. So you got two oil sending units. Why? Because one goes to the gauge up in the dash and one goes to the gauge out there on the passenger side rear where you check your oil and all and water filters with water and the fuel separator filters. And the other one is a pressure switch, which I showed you. All right, thank you very much once again, Jeff from RV Diagnostics. Test, not guess. Stop on by to school with you if you want to, but give me an email at jeff at RV Diagnostics.